So some of you may know that myself, among other content creators, will be given the opportunity to try out Grey Zone Warfare in an early access test. I have been streaming it, but I thought I'd bring you some of the early game missions and PvE gameplay for you guys to check out in higher quality over on YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this little bit of gameplay, and I'll see you peeps next time. Lead the way, Capitan. So, so far with Grey Zone, I think they've done a really good job. I think that's the chopper I needed to find. Uh, it's a really good starting place for this early, early test. Uh, it's essentially a persistent world, similar to like Daisy or like an armor server maybe, but you've got the mixed in assets, uh, I guess, framework for like a extraction, but it's technically not extraction because it's a persistent world and you're essentially flying, and let me bring up my big map, from your base camp, which is your safe zone, you can't be killed there, doing all your vendor stuff and your tasks, getting new tasks, handing in, getting rewards, then you fly out to these LZs, which is all AI driven. And then you'd go out and do your missions, and then the further out you go, the more likely you are to get PvP from the other three zones. And I think that's a really good direction, a unique direction for them to have taken. It really makes them stand out amongst the other games that are like this. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the storefront and all that works like you'd expect with an extraction shooter like Tarkov and, and things like that. The medical system's really cool and quite involved, giving blood bags and reviving teammates from a coma and things like that. Who's this? Oh, task complete, poor fella. There's loot out in the world. We can grab like this water and food. Oh, nuclear energy meltdown mango. I'll have that. Uh, chopper south of gas station, which we did when we first came through. And then we've done the body. So let me just check. I'll crouch in this bush. Uh, we can track our, our tasks from this screen. So I've completed find Crasher, we've done. And what happened to the rest of the crew, we've done. Uh, find Kanoa Sinara, clerk in a local construction shop and was last seen during the final stages of evacuation. So wherever that is. Mark location of body. Uh, that's the town hall one as well. We've still got it. I may have had a minor stroke trying to say hello, LT, but we will gloss over that. that. Looks like an enemy, right? Can't tell. Yeah, I didn't bring any long range optics or anything. I just got the hollow sight I got. Red dot. Do we know yet if there's like binos you can have to like scope out an area? I don't know. That'd be nice. Basically, this first star area, we shouldn't see too much uh, oppo opposing faction issues. As we start in that triangle formation on the map, and they've got to kind of push towards us. Some people have done that. We noticed some people push into the enemy faction's area. Ow. Shit. Okay, okay. I'll... Oh, God! I'm very much dead. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm serpentining. Uh, where's my gauze? A good time to show off the medical system, so you've got bandage and stuff like that. The drinks are useful as well. You do have hydration and energy to keep an eye on. Down at the bottom here, we've got our blood level where I've lost a bit of blood, hydration, energy for food, uh, our weight system, and then there's intoxication and radiation, which I don't think is in at the moment. I believe this ground zero area is where that's going to take place, but that is off limits during this early, early test. Um, but that'll be cool later on. Kind of like an end-game kind of area. Raven arriving shortly near your position. ETA, three zero seconds. Um, but like I said, there's the, the three camps where the players come from. All the blue dots are 
for faction members, so they're all friendlies. That is the only way of seeing where their location is. So if you don't look at this map quickly, so what you can do is tap M and it brings up this. So you can see in your local vicinity, there's a load of blue in the town, so I need to be careful of my fire. Um, quite easy to tell the difference in these early areas, but the later areas, the AI starts to get more and more armored and they look more like players. So you gotta be really careful. Squad shows up as green. So I'm green and Colo's there and another chopper in green. So while I fly. Yep, I'm just hiding. Uh, what we did last night, as you can see, we unlocked these other LZs. We worked our way across here. And if we'd have carried on going, we might have seen other players at the airfield, maybe, or Falang at this base camp from players coming out this way. And that's where PvP starts to engage as you meet players out here, or if they decide to push our base camp and vice versa. So people are creeping down this way, so they might run into some hostile activity from other players as you're going around the map. But I do like the way the LZs are set up, that you've got one cover these as you go and explore, and then you can travel further quicker by chopper. And then we've got our inventory screen where gear makes a difference. You can carry different things, carry with the uh, salt backpack, you can put another weapon on your back. You've got a safe lock similar to Tarkov, so these things here, if you die, they stay in there. Certain items like magazines, they have to be in this pouch these pouches to be able to reload. If you have them in your backpack, it won't let you reload. So it's it's proper tactical and you've got to think. You've got to think where your gear is and all that. Uh, and like I said, the medical system, you've got blood bags and all that. So if, if Colo got put in a coma there and I managed to wipe everybody out, I could perform surgery on him with a, with a suture kit, put blood in him, bandage him, splint him, and then he'd get up kind of thing. And it's really awesome. It's really, really involved. Uh, the, the other good thing that I was looking forward to is the squad system um, or the, the faction system where there's all these other players, the blue dots. I've seen reports of those other faction members giving cover fire while the squad is recovering their friend from a coma and those other faction members are there screaming over comms, we got your bag, we're covering you, firing down. It's like just an epic moment. So the, the dynamics between player and player, if, especially if they're friendlies, is, is just amazing so far. You can do things like check your ammo like I did earlier. You can check your chamber. Some tofu there, I might grab that. Don't need to eat just yet, but I've got a bit of food now I can eat and drink. Yeah, we had a moment yesterday, actually, now OT says. We we met Danny on PC, for anybody who knows Danny on PC. And we walked into this town, and it was full of our, our blue blue dots, our faction members. And because he went out dressed like one of the, like, uh, bandits, the AI bandits, they mowed him down. And then it was apologized. It was funny as, ah. funny as fuck. Just run into two guys, just standing there in a dip. Uh, currently see great sh shaded down there. That's what? Shaded? Yeah, they're all in shade. Um, yeah, they're the right below you. I can see you now. Be careful. Two of them. Down in that ditch. Think I'm being fired at though. Oh, yeah, I'm being fired at. Shit, I need to run. I'm behind? Maybe? Yeah, oh, behind. I don't know if my mat. Fuck. Ow. One push me. There was another one down in the field to the left of the trees. You got the health, health system here, which is really cool. Um, did I bring painkillers? Yeah, let's take some meds.
There we go. That took care of my pain. My vest must have took the brunt of that shot. Just got some rib, slight rib bruising. No, we're good. We're good. Then we can loot the AI, of course. We can right-click, open their pouches. He's got some more Ibelin, so I will grab that. And some cola. I might drink that one straight away. Bum bag. He's got some 762. Yeah, you said left, right? Yeah, he was pushing on the left side of that tree that down there, the bunch of trees. Where I am? Yeah, somewhere near you there. Yeah, kill the guy. Right here. I've got one and a half mags left with this gun. I ain't unlocked the 545 ammo yet, so. He is in the basic M4? Or? Now the AK 74M. Oh, yeah. That's different ammo. You'll find it on some of them, though. The cheaper version of the ammo. Here he is! Give me them documents. Just gonna drink some drink, fill myself up and eat and stuff so I can make some space. Oh, banging tune. <laughs> there we go. I picked it up. Nice. Made space. Oh, it was just a medallion. Okay, where's this other guy I got to put a tracker on again? I can't actually remember where that was. But yeah, this, um, this newer tech with Unreal is really fancy and does some uh, magical things, but it is it's definitely like next-gen nice. top spec. I got the, I got the right one. You got the left here. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna be on killer. He's gonna be on that bloody car now. Hey you! Okay. What did you he, he don't want to die, and I'm oh, bleeding. Wait. I'm wounded. Okay, I got a bandage. Yeah. Just check my health. Okay, I'm good. I didn't lose much blood. He was just moaning a lot. Who the hell was shooting then? In a crossover. Down the road on the right. Yeah, I got that one. This one of them. Oh, I just got all oh, shredded. You dead? Okay, I got shot in the neck. Oh, shit. <laughs> you didn't sound too well. I might need to do surgery. Just KO on me. God. Still bleeding, I ain't got no more bandages. Um throw you guys. Oh, I stopped. I stopped. It's good. Anyway, for next. I'm a little bit dizzy. Um Can you take some um Mara Fox or whatever it's called? 
right, so I found the doctor's office key in case it's closed again. Is that you? Uh, I'm standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Yeah, it's you. Oh, yeah. He just drops it on the floor. <laughs> okay, we can book it now. Get back yeah. to base. Get Charlie one. Charlie one. Yeah, might as well. Charlie chopper trip, I guess. I'm out of food and I hate to make space. Uh, we got 345 That's it till it's here, so Just realised I'm missing the upper office, AK. Okay. Did you call it? Yeah, yeah, it's on its way. Wait a minute, have I got no ammo at all with this gun? Shit. I'm here, move it, go! Get the heck out of here! Mission accomplished. Get ready, we're moving out. So now I've done those, I'm going to clear my stash before I hand in these tasks that I've completed. Uh, so let's sell some stuff. I've got to put it in my stash and make some space. I should have space actually, to be fair, in there. Uh, I will sell some stuff though. Let me. Drag this AK off, we'll sell the AK, the mags, I might just unload the ammo. Because you never know, I might find a nice AK kitted out. Um, I do want to keep this gun, I don't want to sell that one. So let me swap that about. I think that's good. So let's go to vendors, we'll go to gunny, and then that's where we can sell our guns and ammo. So I'm going to drag these in there gives us our total and then trade and I sold those and it gives us some money back and we can top up all our money so if our money ends up spilling all over the place we can just top it up and it all stacks in one place so now let me complete once we complete it we'll get a message so let me go to the other one complete lab rat hand over complete so that's those ones done i will accept the next ones and then if we look in our post we will have a backpack and some money to collect there we'll have an m4 and some money to collect there and some money and a circuit there and then if we go back in here it should all be in here we had just enough room, I think. So let's have a look at our character. What I might do is take this M4. Because we're lacking some space here. Can I stack that in there? Is that a bigger bag? We can stack that bag in there. And what I might do is buy an ACOG. 
because uh, why not? So let's get an ACOG site mount and an ACOG site itself. And then if we inspect here and we remove the carry handle, we should then be able to put the ACOG mount on and then the ACOG site. And we could probably sell that carry handle now. Get an extra $16 back. And then we want some mags. So let's go up here. Let's grab that one. And that one. We'll check this one's actually got ammo in it. And now we should be good to go again. 